What's going on, gang? Matt here, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to switch it up a little bit on Sundays and start doing a short, really short, very simple Sunday message and follow that up with a just a simple guitar uh, tip. Maybe it can help your overall playing. You know, I've, I've made no, no uh, apologies about my goal with this channel is to help people with guitar, piano, help with their music, but also encourage you to become a follower of Jesus. Now, this world will make you think you're crazy if you become a follower of Jesus, and that's simply not true. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the reason we live. Now, if you're like me, you have a very, very short attention span. Some of you all who watch my videos never grew up in church. Maybe you've never been in church your whole life. You see this book right here, over a thousand chapters by something like 40 authors, maybe 35, maybe 35, 40 authors, and you say, that is way too confusing. Thou shalt and thou shalt not. And I just don't get it. I have no attention span. I have no background with church or the Bible. I don't get it. And this is what I'm going to invite you to do. I want you to shrink the Bible down to two simple books. We're going to do the book of Luke and the book of Acts. Both, Luke was the author of both of those books. And that's going to take you when Jesus was born all the way through his life, death, burial, resurrection, and then the book of Acts talk about how the church got started. So in total, it's 50, there's 28, 20, 24, 28, there's 52 chapters. So instead of a thousand chapters, I want you, as watching these videos, to shrink this Bible down to two simple books, Luke and Acts, written by the same author. And what Luke did, he wrote these books to give an account to tell people, all this stuff you hear about Jesus, it's true. He went around, he was a very smart guy, he was a doctor, a physician. He went around and interviewed all these experts and said, eyewitnesses said, this actually happened. Luke and Acts. Don't worry about the other books right now. I tell people all the time when they're personal training. You don't need to start out doing one-legged squats on a Swiss ball upside down, hanging from ropes. You need to do push-ups and crunches, maybe a treadmill. Then you work into a lunge, then maybe a squat, then maybe, and so forth. And you slowly, like when the Bible says, when you're an infant, you drink milk. As you get older, you eat meat. This Bible, is, is, it can be so intimidating, guys, and if we don't understand it, we can't apply it to our lives because we don't understand it. But I want to invite you, read two books, Luke and Acts, and you'll begin to get a better understanding. This is who Jesus was. These are the miracles he did. This is what he did for you and I. This is how the church got started after he was crucified on the cross, went back, ascended to heaven, this is how the church got started and, the, and how the disciples increased the message. So read those two books, 52 chapters. You can honestly, you can read one chapter a week, 52 weeks in a year, one chapter a week, and you can read Luke and Acts. I mean, I invite you to read more than that, but that's how simple it is. And you will get a, a way better understanding and a, big, a better feel to later dive deeper in the other 64 books. There's 66 books in the Bible. Um, like I said, start out with just those two, Luke and X. Let me know what you think. Now for a little quick guitar tip for you. We're going to work on one finger movement. I want to use just our G chord. So no capo, lock in these two bottom strings of the third fret and go fifth and sixth. That's your G. I'm using no pick. You can use pick whatever. What I want you to do is What you're gonna do is hammer on the fifth, then down, hammer on the fourth down, hammer on the third down, fourth down, fifth down, fourth down, third down, fourth. You're just going down and up. What that's doing, it's working on your finger movement and the control, your timing. And like I said, you're going hammer on the fifth down, hammer on the fourth down, hammer on the third down, down, fourth, because the more accurate you can get with this, that's your guitar tip, the one finger movement. And do me a favor, guys. Please read those two books. I'm telling you that there's a verse in the Bible that I quote often, John 10, 10. says, Christ came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. I hate that the world has put a spin 
that, that God is all about thou shalt not and what all you can't do. The Christian life is a, is a life of yes. The grace and mercy and love he shows us gives us a life of yes. He came to have life and have it more abundantly. People know John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believed in him shall not perish of everlasting life. Right after that, John 3, 17, 3, 17 says, for God did not send his son to condemn the world. He didn't. We, we put this narrative like he came to condemn the world. He did not send his son to condemn the world, but through him we might be saved. Be a Christ follower today. I promise you'll be the greatest decision you ever make. Give the video a little thumbs up. Please share on social media. That'll help your boy out. Check out countrysongteacher.com. And next Sunday, I'll do another video with a Sunday message and a guitar tip. Have a great day, and God bless.